son of Hafiz Muhammad Saeed, Talha Saeed, who belongs to the Lashkar e Toiba, is in fact the second in command of that organization, has been declared a proscribed terrorist by the Ministry of Home Affairs by way of a Gazette notification. Now, Talha Saeed is also being investigated for his role in a whole host of terror attacks. He's the son of Hafiz Mohammed Saeed, who is the mastermind of the 2611 attacks in Mumbai and has recently been sentenced to a 32-year term in prison on charges of terror funding in Pakistan. His son, Talha Saeed, has now been proscribed by the Ministry of Home Affairs as a terrorist. Let me take this across to Nikunj Garg for more updates. So Nikunj, a very important development made by the MHA uh, by following an amendment that was made to the UAPA in 2019 where individuals could also be proscribed as terrorists. Well, yes, uh, this is uh, certainly uh, the stems from that. But uh, this gentleman is not the first individual who has been proscribed as terrorist. The last three years, Government of India has proscribed close to uh, dozen individuals, and but mostly Pakistan-based individuals like his father, uh, rather infamous father that he has, Afi Saeed, a 2611 butcher of 2611 terror mastermind, and a man uh, accused by India of carrying out multiple terror attacks on Indian soil. Also, also a man accused by India of, uh, of being the founding father of Lashkar Taiba and constantly, constantly collecting funds for waging jihad against India. In fact, uh, it's interesting that just yesterday, a Pakistani court sentenced him for 32 years uh, in cases of terror funding and terror-related activities. So following that, uh, following that and, uh, you know, uh, groundwork that the government of India agencies had done uh, so far on this matter, his son, Hafiz Salha Saeed, an um, in, 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 individual of around 45 years, 46 years of age, uh, who the government of India and its agents is the mastermind of many, many recent attacks, particularly in and someone who has closely failed and trailed his father's footsteps uh, in the terror, uh, on the terror frontier, uh, has by the Ministry of Home Affairs. In now, fact, the question to... that begs... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Continue exactly. to be with us and help us understand the role of Hafiz Saeed's son, uh, that is uh, Tala Saeed as well, in the entire operation. Because this particular gazetted order also states how he has been in actively involved in recruitment, fund collection, planning and executing attacks by the LET in India and the Indian interest in Afghanistan. And it also goes on to state how he has been propagating for jihad against India, Israel, US and the Indian interest in the other Western countries as well. Well, yes, this gadget notification certainly talks about that. This is, remember, this gadget notifications are only for the purposes and consumption of the government of India authorities. The follow-up orders are uh, subsequent orders that are circulated and will also be shared uh, with, the, uh, with, the, with the friendly government, multilateral bodies like the United Nations uh, and uh, agencies that have control over uh, anti-terror activities of investigation in the United States of America and uh, MI6 and MI5 etc. in the United Kingdom. Uh, however, however, those are detailed orders. This gadget notification is specifically for the purposes of government of India's own departments and ministries. Uh, the important point that I was coming to at that point of time uh, was that effectively what happens that this individual has now been proscribed as a terrorist by the government of India. Gov the amendment to the UAPA says that government of India can try to mount an international prosecution. The National Investigation Agency through those amendments, alongside uh, this amendment of individual proscription of a terrorist, have been given powers to mount, ter uh, mount trials outside India. Now, what it means is that the National Investigation Agency can go to a friendly country, a third country like the United Arab Emirates or any other Gulf country and seek to mount a trial with the government of India's uh, judicial mandate. Whether those countries accept that judicial mandate, whether the trial is allowed to be mounted, yes. depends on the dispensations there. But from our own internal consumption purposes, the law states that this can certainly be tried. Mm -hmm. So India can not only mount a trial against Hafiz Salah Saeed inside Indian jurisdiction, but also abroad. Plus, any yes. of his associates who are uh, engaged in the kind of activity that the government of India accuses them of will also be proscribed, their assets seized. Uh, put behind bars and their movement curtailed. So this is a quite an omnibus restriction on an individual that the government of India uh, puts and consequently on his associates, his family members, etc. All come on government of India's blacklist.